Hello, everyone, and welcome to our annual Hope and Healing Happy Hour in honor of nursing excellence. I'm Jamie Counterman, director of the Metro Health Hospital Foundation. Normally, I'd start by thanking all of you for gathering with us on behalf of our amazing nursing team at Metro Health, University of Michigan Health. We have a lot to celebrate together today. But I would like to just share a little bit about how this would feel if we were all together. Walking upstairs at the Amway Grand Plaza, the excitement in the air as you're checking in, wondering who you're sitting with, or if we'll be serving lunch on time, or if we'll run over so you can get back to a meeting. We look forward to creating an exciting and inspiring experience for you in person again very soon. But for now, we're just going to have to create that magic together. As we look back on the last year, we can't help but be filled with hope and gratitude. Why? Because of all of you, this extraordinary community, and the incredible care team at Metro Health. So while I truly wish we could cheers together in person today, I appreciate those of you who've joined us virtually this afternoon. To get us started, it is my honor to introduce President and CEO of Metro Health, University of Michigan Health, Dr. Peter Hahn. Thank you for joining us today in celebration of nursing excellence. The skill, professionalism, and caring expertise of our nursing team has never mattered more. As COVID-19 created the greatest public health challenge of a generation, our nursing team has continued to shine. They are one reason that Metro Health, University of Michigan Health has proved that not even a pandemic can hold back our relentless innovation for healthcare excellence. Our nurses touch every life we serve from the front lines of COVID-19 to the forefront of healthcare across West Michigan. And foundation donors like you stand right by their side. Our community owes a debt of gratitude to these caring professionals and to you who support them. We look forward to sharing more about the heart of our compassionate and expert care, our nurses, who provide our patients with hope and healing. Thank you so much, Dr. Han. We couldn't agree more. Nurses are special individuals. They see and care for people in the best and worst times of their lives. They are the heart and soul of our organization, and they embody Metro Health culture of personalized, patient, and family-centered care. Today, we have a very specific mission. We are here to support the unmatched nursing team at Metro Health. You can do so now by taking your phones out, texting HOPE, to 616-253-6361. I'd like to offer a special thank you to the nurses who've joined us today. For those who couldn't join us, we are pleased to share that this event is being recorded and will broadcast for our clinical teams so they too have an opportunity to see and feel your support. Comments left in the chat for our nurses will also be shared with them, so please consider dropping a note of gratitude and celebration. Next, I'd like to introduce you all to Ross Bartlett, AHC Hospitality's Regional General Manager of Amway Grand Plaza and Morton Hotel. Hello everyone, I'm Ross Bartlett with AHC Hospitality, presenting sponsor of this year's Hope and Healing Happy Hour. It's an honor to join you all today in celebration of Metro Health nurses and the critical care they provide to the members of our community. At AHC Hospitality, we fully understand the difference that can be made by that smallest effort, that one degree of difference. And that's what Metro Health nurses provide through their compassionate expert care. Today, it's not about us. It's about you and your willingness to invest in nursing excellence. So please sit back, enjoy your charcuterie board and mocktail generously provided by the Amway catering team. And join us in raising a glass as we toast to Metro Health nurses and their caring expertise. Cheers. Cheers to you, Ross, and to our friends at AHC Hospitality. We are so grateful to once again have you as a partner. In addition to AHC Hospitality, we have some amazing sponsors who've helped make this year's Hope and Healing Happy Hour possible. Say that three times fast. Helping us to celebrate these partners is Foundation Board Chair Scott Webb. Good afternoon. My name is Scott Webb, Metro Health Foundation Chairperson. Thank you for being here to this afternoon and really giving thanks to all of our great sponsors for our Hope and Healing event. 
without your generosity and the generosity of all of our sponsors, this event would not be possible. We give thanks to all of you. I'd first like to give a big thank you to our presenting sponsor, HC Hospitality, both for your, your kindness, your gifts, and your time that you've put into this event. So whether you're here as a, a, a table host, as a guest, and or simply here as a community leader or volunteer, thank you for being here to celebrate our sponsors and to recognize their generosity. I'd also like to thank our Compassionate Healer sponsors, Health Recovery Solutions, Outfront Media, the Stephen Klotz Family Foundation, our trusted advocate sponsors, Chris and Kim Brandoff, DJ Landscape Management, Jim and Mary Valdeer, Metro Health Clinically Integrated Network, Michigan State University College of Osteopathic Medicine, Presidio, our bedside companions, Ellis Parking Company, Dr. Ron Grifka, Hayworth Interphrase, Judy and Steve Pelega. Your gifts and your generosity have truly made a difference for this event. And without your, your, your time, your commitment, your gifts, your heart and your mind, we wouldn't be here this evening. So I'd ask that you join us online with a clap, a cheer, a thumbs up, or like myself, grab a glass, please raise a glass and thank our sponsors and have a great afternoon. Thank you. Thank you, Scott, both for your leadership as our board chair and your participation today. And thank you to all of our generous sponsors who have allowed our guests to join us in celebration of nursing excellence. Their sponsorship, along with your generous donations, fund equipment and training critical to providing innovative, patient-centered care. Previous Hope and Healing events have allowed us to fund crisis prevention intervention training to keep our employees and patients safe, emergency response simulators to train for any type of medical situation, team step strategies designed to help improve patient safety and quality through effective communication and teamwork skills. We host this event each year, not only to financially support the work of our nurses, but also as an opportunity to honor and celebrate them as the heart of our compassionate expert care. This past year has tested our nursing team in ways no one could have imagined, and they have continued to rise to the challenge, just as we knew they would. One of those nurses wanted to share her experience with you today. Julie typically provides care to orthopedic surgery patients, but in the last year has had to shift her role and remain flexible to care for not only her post-surgical patients, but those with COVID-19 as well. Take a listen. It was pretty typical to have about like half of our floor be COVID patients as opposed to most of our floor was typically orthopedic patients. I guess we kind of knew it was coming. I figured, you know, I might as well take the initiative to take care of those patients. A couple times I had where I was pretty overwhelmed with the patient load that I had and a staff member came like in business casual and you could see that they had the RN on their name but they had taken on a different role but they were there just to help out with passing meds or just checking on a patient and that made such a big difference. At Metro, everybody's willing to help and it's been an honor and a privilege being a Metro Health nurse. The teamwork that everybody has stepped up really well and risen to the occasion through all of this adversity and taking care of great patients. Julie, we are so grateful you shared your experience with all of us and for all that you've done and continue to do for Metro Health patients. As a reminder, every dollar donated by texting HOPE to 616-253-6361 will support our nurses like Julie, who are the champions at the front lines and the heart and soul of our organization. Metro Health nurses are providing care for patients with COVID-19 from the moment they enter our hospital to the day they are discharged. They are the first face a patient sees on waking in the morning and the last before going to sleep. Our nurses remain alongside our patients as their caregivers when they can't be with friends or family. They are there for every moment that matters, but don't just take our word for it. Today, we welcome Dante Villarreal. Many of you know him through his role at the Grand Rapids Chamber of Commerce as a friend of this community and a fierce advocate for equity. 
we know him as our foundation board treasurer, a patient of Metro Health, a COVID-19 survivor, and a friend. You may have heard about his story on social media, but today he shares his experience with all of you personally. Right before Christmas this past year, I did start feeling the symptoms one morning. Right away, got a test. But the very next day, I got the email confirming that I did have the COVID-19 virus. I figured that I would tough it out at home, of course, like many uh, individuals do. But by the second day, it was clear that the fever and the dehydration and the body aches were, were pretty severe. It wasn't until I made an attempt to get up from my bed uh, to go to the bathroom when I, I really realized that I was having trouble breathing. And it was uh, such a struggle. By the time I came back to the bed, I was gasping, gasping for air. It was one of those moments that I clearly remember because I was scared. I was scared I didn't know what the next few days were gonna be like. When I walked in, everybody was great. Everybody knew what they had to do, not knowing how long I was gonna be by myself, um, not knowing that when was the next time I would see my son, my wife. You add that being bright in the middle of the holidays, it's, it's difficult. I remember one of the nurses, Julie, she would not just ask how I was doing or how I was doing with, with some of the procedures and so forth, but how I was doing in here. In caring for Dante, I just realized that we need to make the care a little bit more personalized for him. Just trying to ask him like about his family and I think that just puts patients at ease a little bit. And for all the patients, we try to personalize their care as much as possible, make them feel comfortable without family around, especially in a scary time. That was really touching because I was scared. I was really scared. I didn't know what was gonna happen, um, if I was gonna make it out of this okay. And I think she knew that, and she was intentional in making sure that she was doing her best to reinforce that I was gonna be taken care of. That could have been what, what allowed me to, to make a recovery, but I do know that Without it, I might not have had the outcome that, that I did have. There was a point where I was thinking, do I have my life insurance? What if I don't make it home? And there's a lot of things going through your mind, so it's very taxing. I'm very fortunate that those around me, those caretakers around me, were very intentional in helping me deal with the mental challenges that you have as a, as a patient. I called his wife and let her know like he was doing better, but that we just want to do this whole course of the medications. Just trying to make those communication lines as open as possible. That was a big relief. It was like a weight off my shoulders because I knew that they weren't worrying as much. They had the information. They knew where I was in, in my recovery, and it meant the world to me that they took the time to connect with, with my loved ones. I remember the nurses coming in and, and saying, wow, you know, we're not gonna have to give you that much insulin right now because your, your body's starting to produce it and you know, things like that, that it helped me feel like, wow, I, I think I'm gonna make it. By that afternoon, I, I knew that, that I was gonna be okay. It was the compassionate care of the nurses that got me through the week that I was hospitalized. They were there for every moment during my care, and that mattered. So today, it is our chance to matter for them. I ask, as a direct recipient of their care, to consider giving a gift today to not only honor Metro Health nurses, but to also support their work financially. Visit the link or text to give at the number below, or send a check to the address listed on your program. Every dollar raised supports the training and equipment. Give today to provide hope and healing for Metro Health nurses and patients like me. Wow, what a powerful story. Dante, thank you so much for sharing. Hello everyone, I'm Meg Goebel, Vice Chair for the Foundation Board of Directors, and I'm so excited to be here with you today. As Dante illustrated by sharing his personal experience as a patient with Metro Health, nurses are there for every moment that matters. Today, we should be there for them. 
please consider giving a gift in support of Metro Health nurses and the exceptional care they provide. You may do so by visiting metrohealth.net slash donate, texting HOPE to 616-253-6361, or by using the donation card in your goodie bag. Thank you for walking alongside our caregivers, including those on the COVID-19 front lines who are leading a new era of medical expertise. From all of us on the Foundation Board of Directors. And from everyone at Metro Health and the Foundation. Thank you for being with us today. Please enjoy the company of your virtual attendees and we look forward to seeing you again in person very soon. Cheers. Cheers.